everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Make Up Fun with Olivia. If you are new here, a hearty welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Let's have some fun. So today, I really wanted to do a get ready with me for you all because on my Instagram pages, you have been asking me to use the Natasha Denona uh, mini Zen palette, and I do have that, but it just has been so crazy, you guys, so crazy. So um, I almost didn't do a video today because it's been so crazy with my work schedule. I've been working late into the evenings and even on weekends, and it's a good thing. I enjoy it, but it kind of takes a little bit of time away from my YouTube video filming and editing. So I thought, you know what? I've kind of been going crazy shopping, so let's do a haul video. Let's do that. All right, so I have some candles, I have some makeup, and I have maybe one skincare item um, to share with you guys. Some of them I've tried, some of them I haven't. I've had them for a couple of weeks because I'm kind of waiting, um, but I'll let you know as we go. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so maybe get some iced tea, get a cup of coffee. Let's jump in. First, I'm going to start with the candles. You guys, I'm not a candle person, per se. I am migraine prone. I sense just really get to me, and I can't really have candles on all the time. But if it's a candle that's just right... I do enjoy it. But I don't know, every now and then, I really want to put a candle on. And I've since discovered soy candles as well, and they're a little bit lighter. So let me start off with this first one that I got. I am subscribed to Grove Collaborative. And um, so one of the things that they tend to have are candles. And this is by the brand Myers. And every season they have different scented soy candles. And this one is called Spiced Pumpkin. This is the little container. And I can definitely, oh, I can smell the Spiced Pumpkin. And it smells so nice. For me, for some reason, these soy candles are not too strong and they don't trigger my migraines. If I wake up with a migraine, I'm not going to be able to put it on, but like I said, I don't put these on all the time, just when I'm like feeling like I need a little bit of extra. Um, so these are really nice. I, I enjoy them. I also saw on YouTube, and please, oh, don't be mad at me. I can't remember the, the channel of the person. Um, they were subscribed to a candle subscription and in that subscription they got one candle by luster and bloom and it just sounded so amazing i actually ordered some already from them and i have one here for the summer that i have yet to put on it's called sugared citrus oh i have used it oh mm, that smells so good it's like a sweet slash citrus i love citrus and fruity scents but i don't like that fake scent and this is like a nice blend of sugar and citrus so i really i really like it so they have some fall scents and i decided to get them so let me show you this is the box that it comes in i haven't even taken them out you guys so they you know they sell it's an etsy shop and she sells like bigger ones smaller ones and this was like a little set to try three of the scents so i went ahead and got them i haven't even taken them out so let's take a look and just so you know a little bit about what it says for Luster and Bloom, it says beautifully fragranced, all natural soy candles, hand poured in small batches with lots of love. And then, you know, this is this is the little card that came with it. So here is the first one. It is in a little tin and it says Autumn Orchard. Oh, I can smell it already. So this is the little tin that it comes in. Ooh. And it does tell you the notes. Let me see. The notes are red apple, cinnamon, orange peel, nutmeg, and clove. These are hand poured in Denver, Colorado, and it is a four ounce soy candle. Oh, I can smell the apple. I can smell, you know what? This is a very well-balanced candle. I can smell the 
the cinnamon, but the cinnamon can sometimes be overpowering. It doesn't smell overpowering. Now I haven't lit, lit it up yet, obviously. This is just, and I can smell like a tinge of clove. Mmm, that smells so good. And a tinge of the orange peel. What I mostly smell is the apple. Ah, oh, that smells so good. <gasps> I can't wait to put this one on. Okay. The next one is called Hello Fall. And the notes are, you know what? I don't want to read the notes. I want to smell it first. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, this one's a little bit strong for me. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's read the notes. It smells strong, but it might be one of those that the more you smell, the more you like, or the more you smell, the less you like. Okay, the notes are leaves, cedar, berries, cinnamon, and pecan. It was the pecan I was smelling. Kind of smells like pecan praline, but I can definitely smell like a woodsy kind of, and maybe that's the cedar. Yeah, and berries in there, interesting. I just, I love the notes, the different varieties that Luster and Bloom puts together in their candles. And I just, I really appreciate how original they are. Okay, the next one is Pumpkin Souffle. Mmm, this smells more like butterscotch. A little bit of spice like cinnamon. I'm, I, I'm enjoying trying to guess what notes are in here. It smells like butterscotch, caramelly, something like that. Okay, so this has brown sugar, pumpkin, cinnamon, vanilla, and clove. Okay, it's the vanilla that I was smelling and the brown sugar and the pumpkin. The cinnamon and the clove must be the spices. Mm, this smells like like caramel popcorn, like when it's freshly made. Oh, that smells good. That smells good. So this one is called Pumpkin Souffle. I am so looking forward to putting these on. So those are my three candles from Luster and Bloom. Like I The next item is my only skincare item. I got this sample by Kiehl's. It is um, powerful strength, line reducing and dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye serum with tripeptide and hyaluronic acid. I got this little sample um, in one of my Sephora orders and if you recall, I've been having issues with my little eczema wrinkle that I call, and this with a balm on top has been amazing, amazing for me. So it was a little pricey. I didn't know it was pricey when I was using the sample. I just, it works so well, and it has almost but cleared up that little like issue that I'm having there. So... I bought it. I looked it up and I bought it. This is what it looks like. Um, it is a little bit pricey. I did not know it was going to be pricey. And when I saw it, I waited like another week <laughs> before I caved because I still had plenty of the sample. Um, this is a half ounce too. All I need is a little bit and I do use it a little bit here and a little bit here underneath because I'm finding that it really is brightening my under eye. So this is what it looks like. I have not opened this one. I have not started using it because I am still using up this one. I'm shocked at how much this has, but it's close to being, I'm like, you know, I'm starting to, oops, eek, I don't want to use it all up. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a yellow, kind of like a blend between a lotion and a heavy cream. I know that sounds weird, but so it's it's lotiony because it's light, but it's cream because it doesn't it's not runny. It doesn't run down. Okay, where should I use this? I guess I'll put it on my hands <laughs> to not waste it. I was able to put most of it back in. So this has been amazing for me because I my under eye area is extremely wrinkled. I have very crepey, very wrinkled, hooded eyes. I'm 50 years old. And I have never had so many issues with, you know, it's it's funny because at 40, 
I thought, oh no, I'm starting to have issues. Little did I know, at 50, it just kicks in full gear and you're like, what is going on? <laughs> so um, I'm kind of even starting to consider use ret uh, starting to use Retin-A, retin uh, Tretinoin, because wow, you know, wow. So, um, and not only, it's not so much ego, although, you know, of course we all wanna look the best that we, we can and feel self-confident but it's hard to apply makeup it's it's it gets dry and it gets itchy and you know i've never had dry skin before i have always been you know under 40 i was combination skin and then at 40 because i started to be just a tad bit drier i turned into normal skin in my 40s and now i feel like it's normal kind of starting to head into um it's this weird like combination of like extra dry but then some areas are extra oily it's like the weirdest thing it's the weirdest thing i'm sure some of you understand anyway so i need hydration but when i started using hydration products it made me break out a little bit so then i was like <laughs> so i need to be careful in what type of hydrating but non-comedogenic non-clog non-pore clogging so i'm still working that out this has been amazing because it's really helping me in the eye area. So um, if you have seen me on Instagram, I've been using this. Okay, now let's jump into the makeup stuff. Actually, I got one drugstore item. I think I got more from the drugstore. I can't remember what else I got, but this is the one that I was most excited about. It's a little mini eyeshadow palette by Maybelline, and it's called the City Mini Palette Diamond District. And I just, I love this. I kind of wish it was part of the actual packaging, but no, you take it off. And this is the little palette. And I have used it already, as you can tell. And I liked it. I really liked it. Um, I'll do some swatches so you can see. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I think this was a very decent little eyeshadow palette. Um, the one that I was least impressed with, I would say, in here would be this one, the shimmery one. But you know what? It's still pretty good. If you don't like like boom shimmer, you're gonna be very happy with this palette. And what I liked about it is that it has, I mean, I love blues and purples obviously, but it has neutrals in too. So, and it has a light enough shade, at least for me that I can use up here, a light shade, uh, a medium shade to blend or transition. This one is light and this one, these two I would consider like medium or transition shades. And then you have your outer V ones, um, you know, the darker shades that you want to use on the outer V, outer seven, whatever you want to call it, or, um, or use it to line your eyes, um, eyeliner. So yeah, this is this has everything. And you know, it's nice and small. The eyeshadows are very decent. I found they were very wrinkle friendly, which is big for me, whether it's expensive or cheap, um, not cheap, but inexpensive. Um, it has to it has to work with my wrinkled eyes. And this did, I was really happy with it. So I do recommend yeah, this. The City Mini Palette in the color Diamond District. So very cute. Um, okay. Everything else is either Sephora or a little bit higher end for me. <laughs> if you remember, I got the two Huda Haze eyeshadow palettes, the khaki and the neutral one. What was it called? Sand? No, not sand. The purple um, one. And I was so impressed with them because I had never had a Huda eyeshadow palette that I went back and got the sand one. So here is the sand one. And... Again, it's the same plastic packaging. I've already played with this, you guys. And I will tell you, I'm glad I got it. This did not let down. These lighter shades are a little bit, actually, sorry, that one and this one. They're a little bit brighter than you would expect. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of hard to describe, but know that they are a little bit brighter than you would think. Let me let me swatch some. I'm not going to swatch all of them, but I'll do, you know, one of the light ones. And they're so creamy, you guys. Um, I'll do a matte light one, and then I'll do 
two of the shimmer ones, just so you get an idea. That's the light one. So it looks light, but you see what I'm talking about, that it's a bright color. It's not like an in-your-face color, but it's definitely brighter than you would expect from a neutral. So let's swatch these really quick. See? See how that it's it's bright and and it stands out in my skin tone, which I am really happy with. You know, even though I thought this was more of a neutral palette, but it's not neutral boring. It's not neutral dull. It's still it's still got some decent colors in there, as you can see. So yeah, I've been playing with this. I've been using it. I've been liking it. Hey, you know I have. I think I have more brushes than the average person, but not as many as like a regular YouTuber where they have a ton and they can go through weeks of, you know, like just using some and then putting those away and using the next set. I don't have that many. So what I did is I got, and it's a little bit open because I started to open it, is I got myself a color switch. I did not know about this until... Who did I see? I think I saw Mary from Glitzy Fritzy. She said, oh, I'm, I'm going to use my color switch. And I was like, what is that? What is a color switch? So I started, because if you remember, I just came back onto the YouTube scene like four months ago because I was MIA. And so I'm behind on everything. So I'm like a newbie all over again, which I'm kind of really enjoying. Okay, so you can travel with it. And what it is, it's kind of like, a plastic sponge almost and what you can do is you can get your brushes and swirl it after using it with one color you swirl it and it's supposed to take off the eyeshadow color so that now you can use it on a different color and it works it works it kind of worries me about um, using my good brushes um, you know is it gonna like make them rough but I've been using this for a week now and it doesn't appear to make them rough. I don't know. Let me know if you have used this way longer than I have um, or if you knew about it because I didn't know about it. And this is amazing. So I don't have to be like spraying it, wiping it off with the towel. Okay, now it's ready to use. It's just I just swirl it super quick and then on to the next color and it's really been working. So I am enjoying this color switch that I recently picked up. Okay, the next item I got from ColourPop, Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus. Do you see my little Hocus Pocus decor back there? I love Halloween. Halloween is my very favorite um, holiday in the year. I always thought I was a, a weirdo and I was okay with that, but I'm finding that a lot of people love Halloween. Halloween is my very fave. I love dressing up. I love witches and vampires and all of that. I just, I love it. I love it. Love it. It's funny because I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to horror shows, but all those cutesy like Halloween movies, I am all about that. <laughs> And I always have been. So anyway, so when I saw that Hocus Pocus was coming out in an eyeshadow palette, they had more items um, in their collection, but I wanted the eyeshadow palette. I did try to get the eyeliners. I didn't get them. This sold out so quickly, you guys. Um, so I consider myself blessed that I got one. Let me take it out. Let me show you the packaging. You've probably seen other people, you know, talk about it. It's so cute, the little cauldrons. By the way, I did watch Hocus Pocus last night with my family. We hadn't seen it, and my kids hadn't seen it. I tried to see it, I want to say about three or four years ago, no, maybe five years ago, and the beginning, they were scared. They're very sensitive children, and so they're silly and goofy, but they're very sensitive, and so when we started watching it, they're like, Mommy, we don't want to see it, and I'm, I'm a very respectful parent. I like to let them have a certain amount of independence that's the way i was raised and that's the way i want to raise my kids so i said okay even though my hubby was kind of like they'll be fine but i said you know what let's let them decide so yesterday i asked again and i said you guys want to see it come on come on you won't be scared it's a cute movie and they said okay mom we'll watch it with you they loved it they loved it and i knew they would had i pressed on five years ago they may not have loved it so i'm kind of glad that i waited anyways sidetrack um yes we watched it last night we enjoyed it so very much so here is the palette i kind of wish it had the sisters in here 
um, but it doesn't. It has the cauldron, but I still like the cauldron. Um, it does have the sisters, and I'm going to take this off, here. Isn't that so cute? And I'm sorry, my ring light. Oh, and we're having a lot of sun in the San Francisco Bay Area today. It's really hot. It's crazy hot. Um, so yeah, I'm like in my like <laughs> light clothing today. But here are the colors. This is not dirty. This is the way that the palette is. When I first got it, I was like, is it dirty? No, that's, that's just the coloring of the palette to make it look, I guess, like spooky and witchy and stuff. And so, um, you know, I have used this a couple of times already and I have created two very different looks. I'm so glad I have this. The quality is great. The color is pigmented. I'm able to blend on my wrinkled, crepey, 50-year-old eyes. The variety is just amazing. You know, if you, like, cover this, you can, you know, do, like, a berry colored. You can do, like, a neutralish. You can do a berry. You can do, um, like, a green. You can do jewel tones. There's so much you can do. So... I'm really glad that I got this palette. Had it not been titled Hocus Pocus, I may not have gotten it, but I'm really, really glad that I got it because I'm just loving it. So let's go ahead and swatch some. Take a look. And the ones that have a little bit of glitter, like this one is, um, it looks like a matte, but with a little bit of like that micro glitter, not the kind that you feel on your eyes, but that you just see sparkle when the sun hits it. I really like it. I saw a lot of young YouTubers kind of complain about that and they were like, why put it in there? <laughs> and I respect that. I respect that. But as a mature woman with wrinkled eyes, I appreciate this. I appreciate that it, you know, if I don't want full on glittery, I can use the subtle one. I really like it. So yeah, I think this is a very mature friendly, look at that, mature friendly palette. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy with it. Their color names are so cute too. Let me put on my glasses so I can see, um, you know, one of them, this one's called Hello Salem, Tis Firm. Come, little children. Um, what else? Bewitched. Goodbye, cruel world. Night of frolic. Wench. So obviously, um, I call it a bus. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's such a cute palette, and the quality is there, and the versatility is there as well. So I'm really happy with this. Okay, so Natasha Denona, here's my box. Y'all know what I got. I am officially a Natasha Denona junkie, and I've been saying for the past few weeks, it's all Natasha Denona's fault that I am getting into neutrals, these neutral lipsticks, you guys. Oh my God, her I Need a Nude line. I want them all, but they're so expensive. <laughs> anyway, this is what I got this time. Um, I did get, and I took them out of the packaging already, so I'm not going to be showing you the outside packaging. I'm just showing you the, the actual. So it's a little mini Zendo. Is it Zendo? Yeah, Zendo palette. It's called a little mini Zendo palette. So this is how little it is. I'm okay with that. This was only $25. I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit cooler than it is. The shade that I'm most excited about is this one here because it's a silver shimmery one. Um, let me do some swatches. I don't, I'll find room. So I hadn't swatched them yet. Woo. I love how creamy Natasha Denona's eyeshadows are. There's just, wow. Yeah. I, I can honestly say that Natasha Denona has my favorite eyeshadows now. They're creamy, they're blendable, 
They're beautiful. They're wrinkled, crepey, 50 year old friendly. And she, I have been putting comments on her tutorials on Instagram. Please use like 50 year old or mature models. And she started putting mature models, which I love. So I'm learning little techniques from her too. I am using Natasha Denona eyeshadow. I do have Natasha Denona on today. This is the bronze palette. Remember, I am a cool eyeshadow gal, but I got the bronze palette and I have to say, I like it. I like it. I do have to be in the mood for it because I tend to go, I love the glam palette. The glam palette is my jam. It has the cool tones. It has the silver in there. I love it. That's my favorite, but I am enjoying the bronze palette as well. So, um, and I feel like this one's a little bit warm, but it has the, you know, enough cools in there that I'm happy with it. So I can't wait to use this. It looks really pretty. I did also get the I Need a Nude Glow. This packaging is lovely. It's like a rose gold. It's it's lovely, you guys. And it has this like white see-through. I'm not good at describing, but it's pretty. <laughs> It's pretty. It does have a mirror, but it does have a covering that I have not taken off. Um, and I have already dipped into this, but it's beautiful. Actually, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can even see it, but um, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Back in the day when shimmer sticks were all the rage, I don't know, I just wasn't into having that much shimmer on my cheeks. Maybe it's because I'm older, maybe the formula, maybe it's because I'm into the nude now. I don't know, but I just, I really love this. I really am enjoying it. Um, let's do a swatchy swatch, shall we? I will say this is not, first of all, let me back up. I don't have a whole lot of these shimmery highlighters. I don't. So I'm not like a shimmer connoisseur or highlighter connoisseur at all. This is not as creamy as her eyeshadows. I believe some of her other highlighters are super, super creamy. But having said that, it still is kind of creamy, if you know what I mean. Look at that. Now, on the one hand, I feel like it's kind of subtle. But on the other, I feel like it does give a little bit of, of a, just a little bit of texture. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because I, I do like it. Um, I also like it to put it here. After I bronze a little bit here, I do a little bit here. Let's put a little bit more, shall we? Let's put a little bit more. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get out of that light <laughs> the, from my blinds. Um, another place I like it is here. It just highlights your cupid's bow so nicely. Okay, so, and even up here, I mean, I haven't used it up here, but one could, let me put my my mirror. Yeah, you. I mean, you could, you could use it up there too. I don't typically use shimmery stuff up here, but anyway, I'm loving this. I also got the two lippies that came with the collection. Um, one is called Maria and the other is called Andrea. This is, these are two limited, I believe this whole um, collection is limited edition holiday set. Um, her regular I Need a Nude line looks like this and I have a couple of them that I love. I absolutely love the packaging. I love the formula. So I wanted to show them to you, but these are just beautiful. So let me show them to you. So this is Maria. Her I Need a Nude Lipstick formula is amazing, you guys. Amazing. I like this formula more than the MAC formulas. Um, I like the cream formula of MAC. I like the amplified formula. Um, I used to love the matte when I was younger. I can't use the matte from MAC. This is pigmented enough for my skin tone because I have pretty pigmented lips, but it is so creamy and it feels lovely on my dry lips. So I just, I love her I Need a Nude um, lip formula. 
The other one is called Andrea, and if you compare them, this is like a little bit lighter rose goldy, and this is like a little bit darker rose goldy, but they're both rose gold. This is what Andrea looks like. Now, I've been hearing on YouTube people kind of saying they're way too similar, and they are. They are similar, but they're just enough different that I, I'm happy I got them both. So for me, I feel like Maria has a little bit more of pink, almost like a pinky peachy. And this one is, a, Andrea's a little bit more taupey, a little bit more darker than this so one. I am wearing uh, Maria, but I'm wearing it with a lip liner and I'm wearing it with some Natasha Denona um, gloss on top of it. But I am wearing Maria today. So um, let me see, let, let me hold them up together for you so you can see them. Yeah, see, this is Maria and this is Andrea. So this one's a little bit more pinky peachy and this one's a little bit more taupey rosy. One more thing that I did pick up from Natasha Denona is this little um, mini bronze and glow palette. It's little. And I, I got it honestly because I thought it was a bronzer and I thought, ooh, let me try a little mini bronzer. Even though it's called Bronze and Glow, it is not a bronzer. I read the description of the product item and it is actually a blush. So this is the blush and this is a kind of like glowy highlighter type of thing. Um, so let me go ahead and swatch those. Am I using, I think, you know what, I am. I'm using this blush today. So as you can tell on me, it's a little bit neutral, which I've been into. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> anyway, so let's see if I can, where can I put this? Okay, that's the blush. And this is the shimmer. I didn't use this shimmer today. I used the other one. But. I love this one too. I've used this one too. It's so pretty. It's so um, sheer and light. Look at that color. It just goes really well with my skin tone, I feel. And I feel like this would look very lovely on both lighter and darker skin tones. Because you can really build this up. I just put a little bit, but you can really build this up. As you can tell, it's pigmented. Um, and then this one you can build up too. So very cute little bronze and glow um, blush and glow palette. In this box, I put them together because I started using this um, Charlotte Tilbury lip liner with my I Need a Nude. That's what I'm wearing, this lip liner. It's my very first Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liner. I think the only other thing by Charlotte Tilbury that I have is the Pillow Talk lipstick because I decided to try it. And you know what? I really liked it, but I haven't been reaching for it because it's a matte formula and even though it feels very nice for a matte formula, I still prefer the creamier one. So I prefer the I Need a Nude Lippies more. Um, Let me look at what shade this is. Okay, so this is called Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner um, and it is an iconic nude. So this is what it looks like. I did sharpen it and use it today. Let me put it over here because I actually used it with Maria. So this is what I used it, Maria, with this lippy. That's why I was kind of like, well, I don't know if, because I really feel like with nude lipsticks, you can really like bump it up a notch with, depending on what lip liner you use with it. So because I have very pigmented lips, then I use a little bit darker on the outside, this one here, and then I put this one in between to make it look a little bit more ombre. And then, you know, to kind of make it all meld together, I use the gloss on top. But yeah, 
I'm finding that this lip liner is very creamy. I like the color. I can use it with like taupe colors. I can use it with peach colors, with pink colors. It's very versatile. So very nice um, lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, the last box that I have to share with you is my ColourPop. Can you see a ColourPop um, box? So because I've been into this nude, you know, colors, nude eyeshadows, I decided that I wanted to try the That's Taupe eyeshadow palette. I heard that it was a good dupe for the Natasha Denona Glam palette, and I thought, ooh, I want to test that. I really want to test that. Um, and if it's not, I'm okay with it because it has these beautiful nude colors that are very much on the cool side, which I love, obviously. So, um, yes. And I love that it's like a snake skin. It, it almost looks like it has a tinge of rose. Do you see that? But it's taupe. It's very much taupe um, snake skin. It is a plastic. It, um, it doesn't have a mirror. I'm okay with that. I have plenty of mirrors. But yeah, I cannot wait to dip my fingers or my <laughs> my fingers, my, my eyeshadow brushes. Let's do a few swatches. Oh, that feels creamy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I tried to do a variety of colors. Do I have any arm left? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. I'm telling you that that looks very similar to the Natasha Denona Glam. I'll have to do a comparison because, yeah, some of these look very similar. So I can see why people were saying that it's that it can be a, considered a dupe. Yep. I can't wait to use that. Definitely, definitely glad I got this. Um, and then with this collection, and I'm not showing you the outside cases, but, you know, it came in a in one of these and so did the other items that I'm about to show you but you know I took them out for just to save time so the first one is called ultra glossy lip and it's in the shade rattler like a rattler snake and it's a brush type applicator these are not my favorite um, gloss applicators but you know it works it's like a pigmented gloss. It's very pretty. I can see that going really well with this with this um, lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury. And then this one is also ultra glossy lip in the color Queen Cobra. So you can tell that there's a little bit more shimmer. See that? This one did not have shimmer, but this one does. So this one's very sheer. Can you see that? Let me see if I can. Yeah, very sheer, but very shimmery. These are not the glosses I used today. I used a Natasha Denona gloss on my lips. So yeah, those are the glosses. And the last thing that I got with this collection is the lip liner, um, the ColourPop Lippy Liner in cool BFF because I'm on this I need a nude lipstick kick then I don't have um, lip liners that go with these neutrals so I'm kind of trying to figure out what goes with my neutral lipsticks um, so this is in the color cool BFF here <laughs> it's right here sorry guys so it very much looks like a taupe. This gives me 90s grunge like when I was into Nirvana. <laughs> Have I ever stopped being into Nirvana? No, but <laughs> you know the Nirvana days. It gives me those grunge feels and I'm really feeling it. It looks like it has a little bit of mauve in there. Do you see that? It's very much a taupe shade, but it does have like 
tinges of mauve in there, which I really like. I think that's still too dark for me to use with these nudie lipsticks, so I will have to get some other ones, but I can see this going well with either of the glosses. So I'm still happy with it. So that is it for my haul. What was your favorite? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a little bit of makeup fun with me and I will talk to you later. Bye.